Hi, today we are going to be learning the basics about using Adobe Illustrator. First thing before we start, I want to say a few words about this program. If you're first learning to design on computers, this is the program that you're going to want to go to. Because if you go to Photoshop, it does have a drawing program, but it's more for photos and it doesn't have all the right tools that you're going to want to need. Adobe Illustrator, otherwise, it has a bunch of different things that you can play with, play around with. It's, it's just perfect. So that's why if you're just starting out, it's perfect to use this program. Now today we're just going to learn the basics, but this is going to be the stuff that's going to help you get through the whole thing. It's going to be all the basic things you need to get through this program. So first go to Start. And if you already have the program installed, it's going to be somewhere in the main menu. Or you go to All Programs, All Programs, and it should be somewhere in there. We're going to be using Adobe Illustrator CS5 today. Double click on that, and it will start to load. Now, a blank page doesn't automatically just come up on the screen. You have to go to File, New, and then it will ask you all these questions, like what size you want it to be, and printing, what's the document profile, all that. But if you already know what you're going to draw or what you want it to be called, you can just type in the name right there. That's usually what I do instead of having to answer all these questions because they do part of it for you. So it's just the basics. Or you can just click OK and it will be said Entitled 1 or how many other times it started. So Entitled 2, Untitled 3. And then, when you save it, go Save As, and it will show you that you can type in the name. So today, I'm just going to type it in first. I'll just call it Adobe Practice Beginners Drawing. So click OK. A blank page will come up. The first tool you're going to want to use is the brush tool. You can either click on that with your mouse, or you could press B on your keyboard, and there it is. The brush tool is on your screen. Now, the first thing I want to talk to you about is the thickness of the lines. You can do 0 0.25, and that will turn out really thin, like this. Or you could do 100, and it will go this thick. So it just depends on what you're trying to do, what you're trying to draw, how thick you want your line to be. It's like when you're writing and you have the text, and it will say, do you want it size 10, 12, 16, 18, 20? It will always, it will always tell you that. So I'm just going to start a new file here because I just showed you the brush. The best brush I found for doing regular things is either 1, maybe through 10. 1 through 10, they're not too big. Like 10. Oh, that was 1. See? When they first, if you click 10 before really using the brush, it's going to go back to 1. So 10, that's how thick it is. So I find it's really easy to be able to just go 1 through 10, good size. Now say if I did a little mistake, like a little scribble, I'll go to Eraser, and I'll erase it. Or I can just start a new picture and make it blank. But that means I'm going to have to start from scratch all over again. Then another thing you're going to want to know is on the toolbar on the very left side, you're going to see all these different tools. And they're going to have a little arrow pointing down to the right corner. If they have a little arrow, that means you take your mouse, you click on it, and hold. And it will give you all these other options for that tool. So say... For the pencil, I can do the pencil tool, smooth tool, path eraser tool, all that different kind of thing. But first we're focusing on the brush. So stroke, I want it to be 5. That's good in between 1, 10, great size. So say, just to begin, I'm going to draw just a simple, quick little mouse. So do the little nose. Went back to 1 again. Okay, um the little nose, little head, two little mousy little ears, 
and then the rest of the head. So there you have it. There's just a little little mouse there. Simple little drawing. Now see if I wanted to do some more detail on it, like for the eyes, but it's pretty hard to do that from way out here. So what I do is go to the bottom left corner, and there will be a little arrow pointing down next to a sign that says a number and then a percentage sign. You click that arrow, and you'll have a bunch of different size options on how much you can zoom in or zoom out. Zooming out, smaller, that's how tiny I could see my picture, or big, see my picture pretty big, you have to like search all through here to find it. See? So, it gets pretty hard. Those are my lines. So that's pretty sick, zooming in a lot. Usually I like to go, maybe zoom in about 800, 600, 400. Those are good sizes. 1200, 100, 1600, like, you know, all, all that. But this, it's for like really detailed. It gets you so close. It's, it's actually hard to find your drawing. So today I'm just gonna go to 600. So that's how close it comes up. Much easier for doing details. Say I want my stroke to be three. And then I draw, that could be the eye of the mouse. And then even when I zoom in closer, I can see all the little flaws that I've done that I don't like. I can fix them up. So overall, it just gives you more detailed where you can do preference. Also for erasing, the eraser gets like so much bigger that you could just, on certain things, you could just click and it will erase all like that. So brush tool, draw the little eye again. It gets really easy to be detailed. Draw a little mouse, mouth, I mean. <laughs> and there you have it. So that's the basic little shape of a mouse. <laughs> So, if you wanted to do different things, more detailed. So, if you also wanted to erase the whole face of the mouse, but you didn't want to start a new file, it's also much easier for erasing because the eraser is bigger. So, in my opinion, it seems like it goes a lot faster when I'm zooming in. So, just to finish erasing that. And those are pretty much the basic tools. Say I'm going to zoom out again, back to 100. And I'll click this button. I'll hold it because it has a little arrow. And I'll get a bunch of different options on different shapes I can do. So say the star tool, I click, I drag out, and I get a big star. Let's say if I want color, I go to the color palette. And there's a bunch of different options. So I go take the eyedropper, say click to purple. And I can switch these little dials at the side to make it more exact, more exact preference. Perfect until it's the perfect color I want. And then the last thing that we're going to do, well, the last two things, is text and the pen tool. The text tool, we'll click on the big T, hold it, drag it down. That's how much text you can write, say, if the box is that big. Now, it will also give you a bunch of the sizes I was talking with this trope earlier. And then different types of font, bold, and then you just type in whatever you want. So, you know, then the very last tool I want to show you is the pen tool. So I'm going to go to a new one to show you this. So it's not so cluttered. The pen tool is right above the text tool. The basic things right around here. So pen tool, click on that. I stretch out my mouse and see this line? This is the line that goes up. So I do a bunch of those lines. Curve it, doesn't matter how, like that. 
then it makes that little shape. So I take the pen tool, do a line like this, line like that. And then you go to the very top, which is the selection tool, which is you click, and then I get that shape. So you can either use the brush or the pen tool. The brush gets you more curved lines. So if you wanted to do like a spiral or a circle or a heart, that would work much better. But the pen tool, say, you can actually make it anchored so it curves even more like that right over here. So those are the pretty basic things that you can do to use Adobe Photoshop. I mean, sorry, Adobe Illustrator. Those are the basic tools you're going to need. So once you get playing around with those, you can start experimenting with a bunch of different other things. And it will mostly come easy to you once you know those, because those are the basic things for the drawing. So exit, it will ask you if you want to save the changes. If I don't want to save it, I click no or yes or cancel if I don't want to can't close the browser at all. And that is today's tutorial on how to use different programs on the computer. Bye. Have a great day.